Hello everybody, Sift here again with another Backpack Bounce Run with the Paramancer and today I'm gonna try to do a Frost build, the build that beat us on the live stream and let's get to it. Also I'm gonna try a different approach in the beginning, we're gonna go with Twitches instead of going for the classic busted runs we're going most of the time. Oh, I found a whetstone extremely early and also cheap. I guess we're gonna get that too. And a banana I would say for the early win because that's pretty important. Let's roll into another redstone. Nope, we did find income though. Uh, I think I will go for the income, honestly. I will make this into... Um, I would like to make this into the torch, though. Let's keep the torch idea going. Let's go with the income, as I said, and uh, let's see how this is gonna go. And let's hope for the best. We have an idea as to what the build is gonna be. Uh, this is the same build as us. I have a banana, and they have a leather armor. Let's see which of the two wins. Uh, theoretically, the leather armor should, because this is 45 health, and my banana is just... I would say 20 health if it triggers five times. I'm not I'm not sure it's gonna trigger five times. The fatigue should theoretically help them more than us. Yeah, they pretty much healed for 45 and I healed for like eight. Uh, not eight, 12, I guess. Fair enough, fair enough. And I found a second whetstone, very lump of coal actually. And I also found a very early chili pepper. This is insanely lucky. I would say we go with the chili pepper, and I also found money by the way. Let's go with the chili pepper, let's also buy the cheap uh, lump of coal. And now I did get the good old, uh, what is this called, torch. The torch has a 25% chance to gain one damage, and then we're gonna make it into a burning torch of course. Do I want to get more income? I don't think so, let's go. I would like a second wooden sword, oh, 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 I didn't put the damage up, that's a mistake. I didn't put the whetstone there. Big mistake actually, because this here prevents 4 damage. And if I was rolling, yeah, right now I'm rolling 3 to 4, so they're gonna block all the damage when this thing blocks. That is a difference maker, and now I'm doing 5 to 6. I'm attacking often enough where this damage would have made a difference, if not 5 to 10 difference. At this point, I think we're gonna win. Although they activated their defensive stance, it's gonna now go away and we're gonna win. Yeah, fair enough. A little bit of a min-max mistake, but otherwise we're good. And we found a second redstone extremely cheap, that's unbelievable. Let's buy this too. Let's buy another lump of coal. This time it's gonna become a burning coal, and I would like to find a potion. Uh, I would like to get a second banana, honestly. Uh, not potion, another wooden sword is what I meant to say. Attack speed's here, and the second wooden sword's also here. I, I don't have money for both. I think the wooden sword's a bit more important. Uh, but I can also trade the flame. Yeah, let's trade one flame for a, the ability to buy both of these. Now we're gonna also put attack speed on my weapons. We're still early enough where the burst... Um, uh, actually no, let's let's do it like this. I don't think the burst of the chili pepper is gonna make a difference. If anything, I would like to go like this. Yeah, now both of these get plus one attack, and this is gonna become a hero sword. Nice, and we're gonna make the hero sword into the burning blade, or whatever it's called. And let's go. And we have the damage boosting both of these. So theoretically we should win. Now this guy has a goobert, which is pretty bad. I would like to also get a goobert, by the way. The build really is fitting a goobert. We destroyed this guy. We destroyed this guy, they didn't have time to do anything. Yeah, have a lot of burst. Boom, got my hero sword. Roll him. Found another attack speed. Let's definitely get another attack speed. And let's push these in a way that they help. Now damage for this means... Yeah, for us to gain damage on the on the burning torch, we need these to be inside. Now the flame also needs to be touching here, which is not really possible. Uh, without having the flame outside of the zone, but it's okay. Let's have these here. Now, actually, let's have the piggy like that. Like, perfect, 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 perfect. Uh, I could have these like this. I'm very rarely doing this, and I have realized that that's the easy solution. And you can definitely be there. You go here, nice. And now these are inside the zone, so we're gonna even have more max health. I could go for Box of Riches for... Actually, I should go for Box of Riches. I'm gonna create an ice build. Uh, I will go for another lump of coal for sure. Yes. But also like to go with ice armor, but we're gonna just find the ice armor. Same goes with wooden buckler. I don't need to buy anything that can get upgraded because I'm gonna get the upgrades right away. That's how we're gonna play this. And box of riches is important because I need to get as many blue gems as possible to, to freeze the opponents more. VTuber. Also Gooberit. I would like to also get a Gooberit, by the way. And a second banana would fit. I think we're gonna lose this one. Yeah, we're most likely gonna lose this one. Ah! Oh, come on. It was so close. The spikes killed us, of course. But it was so close at the end. You really lifesteal and vampirism. I'm gonna put the vampirism on the chipped ruby. Actually, this should scale more damage. Yeah, burning torch should scale more damage. So let's flip these. Let's also have everything lined up as I most of the time have. These are fire items. I could put them inside the zone. Um, also money. Let's definitely buy the lump of coal. Make it into burning coal. And uh, fanny pack. 
Chipped Emerald for Poison. Money. I mean, a lot of these choices are good. Um, I would say let's actually roll them. Found another Whetstone. Okay, I guess we're going for the Burning Blade. Because I found the Whetstone early. Also found the early Phoenix, which is free wins. Early game at least. Roll them. Found the cheap Mana Orb. I would like a Mana Orb because we will need Mana at the end of the game. Um, at the same time, I also want the Banana. The Mana Orb right now does literally nothing. I guess I'm gonna take it though in case it's gonna help us with... Let's also get the banana so I can actually maintain two weapons. The mana orb is gonna help us with opponents countering buffs. Yeah, we're gonna die here. A lot of gooberts, man. A lot of gooberts. I also want the goobert, by the way, but we're gonna lose because of all of these. Uh, unless the axes don't kill us. Which they should, but we got this. Yep, seems like we have more burst than them right now. A lot of honks. Honk, honk, honk. No, 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 doesn't work. Nice. The ruby we got is chance to remove opponent's buffs. Let's roll this around. Put the banana in. And now I shouldn't have that many honks going on. I would like you to be here and you to be here. And uh, this can definitely fit in a better way. Banana should be the thing that joins. Uh, reorganize time, I guess. Actually, let me first buy stuff. Another chili pepper, very important. Another flame. One also holy armor, but that is irrelevant to what I want to create. Uh, let's buy the flame. Which I don't think fits, by the way. I'll definitely go like this. Nice, you join here. This is chance to remove debuffs against lifesteal. I think lifesteal is more important than... And actually, no, no, let's go with removing debuffs. This is 7% lifesteal. If I do 10 damage, it's 1 heal. Uh, heat. No, I think we're gonna keep everything as is. And uh, let's go. I need inventory space for sure. For sure we need inventory space. Okay, this guy got a Tim. That's extremely unlucky. Uh, let's hope we're gonna somehow remove the buffs before we lose. Tim is gonna obviously destroy us. The fact that they have a Tim. If I had a Tim, I would have won, by the way. Because I would steal the... I haven't removed the spike yet. I removed mana, though. I'm winning! We're winning against Tim. Unbelievable. I had 18 heat there. They didn't have a build, that's why. And I found the anti-spikes draconic orb. I think I should buy that. So let's buy inventory space and the draconic orb. I'm gonna lock this still. Uh, I found two healing stones, so I would like these to combine. Therefore, let's go with instead of a heat. Now let's do this. So these now are gonna combine. Heat should always be inside that zone. Now we also have the draconic orb making it so that we uh, remove spikes from opponents. And by the way, this is better. This is after five seconds, gain two heat and cleanse three debuffs over just gain a heat right away, which the flame is. Uh, I'm not really able. I would like reroll once. The four cost leather armor is nice, but no. Let's reroll one more time. I'm trying to find some inventory space. Uh, removing debuffs, not really. I want mainly the mana thing. Also, definitely go for the lump of coal. If anything, I would even say throw the flames out right now and buy the lump of coal. So that it burns up next turn right away. Yep, let's do that. And um, yeah, let's go. That thing burning up is better. It's gonna also give us a random buff. If the random buff happens to be Vampirism, we win right away. This is a poison build with a Goobert again. The buff happened to be Spikes, by the way. Double Bananas may be helping us have enough energy. Ah, we're winning. Yeah, we're won. And we even got the crits out of the Draconic Orb. Very nice. And we got subclass unlocked. And here we go. The run begins now. We're going with Ice. Frozen Flame. Start of battle gain 15 shield for each ice item, which right now we have zero off. Every five heat gained, which we are gaining heat, inflict two ice to the opponent. And then for each ice your opponent has, this item that is connected to the triangle gets 2% crit hit and crit damage. And also you find ice items in the shop, which by the way are fully upgraded ready items to just filling in the build. So now we're searching for those ice items in the shop. Now I started believing that I should not search for gemstones until I'm ready for this. Let's also have... You know what, I need to do like a mini reorganized time. These should also combine by the way. Yeah, mini reorganized time to fit the frozen flame touching the... the I would say the, um, the burning torch. I think the burning torch does more damage. Should be pretty easy by the way. Yep, mana is still relevant. Actually mana is so relevant that we're gonna put heat in it. And uh, let's go. I'm hoping for one more whetstone. In general, I'm also hoping for a Goobert. Another Goobert opponent with double shields. Yeah, we're gonna lose this. We should lose this. Now we are taking away the spikes and generating heat for with the Draconic Orb. Also, they are getting frozen. Draconic Orb is doing its job. I got my crits. And I think we won. We got rid of all the spikes. Very nice. 33 red damage there at the end. And this 12% this 12 ice made the um, this thing a 1.74 attack speed, 2.11 attack speed. You know? 
That's the idea. Banana normally is 5 seconds, 5.7. It is a difference maker. Uh, and these low numbers, maybe not that much, but in general it is. Uh, removing my debuffs, and we're gonna go with Thrim's Enchant to inflict one ice and get one mana. That's the best in slot uh, gem for us, by the way. I found a good old Wolpen Tiger. We need inventory space. And I found the Goobert. We're gonna combine with the Chili Pepper for sure. Let's buy it right away. Give me ice items or something. I found another Draconic Orb and another Lump of Coal. The Lump of Coal one more time is better than the Flames. So let's throw away two Flames to get one Lump of Coal. A second Draconic Orb is something I think I want. So let's buy these two next turn. And I want to throw this in the build so that I can uh, actually get a Chili Goobert. So uh, let's for one turn not have what in the build. I guess flames is the solution always. It should be here. Uh, this actually should be higher. Yeah, I need to reorganize time. Reorganize time. Okay, here we are. I think we're ready to go. I mean, I'm thinking about throwing away the whetstone. Uh, by the way, piggy bank guarantee is worse than the, um, the box of riches because box of riches is going to give us an ready gemstone while the piggy bank just gives us a coin. Uh, yeah, let's go like this. I'm not sure if I want... You know what? I'm not sure if I want the draconic orb though. I want to go deeper into ice and the more random stuff I buy, the less we're going to be into ice. It's a phoenix build with a ready chili goober. Theoretically, we should super lose this. Super lose this. We are freezing them. Uh, if I somehow maintain a life here with my Goobert, if we can revive them, we're gonna win. Come on, nice, revive them. Now they don't have heat anymore, so they should be attacking very low and slow. And uh, herein comes our win. Nice, destroyed them. So with 15 ice and 5 heat, they were doing... Um, yeah, this one had an attack speed of 2.5 from 2.4. This had 1.92, 1.68. The moment they lose their heat, they're gonna die. Found another ice crystal, very nice. Inventory and the ice crystal for one three percent chance to inflict one uh, get one mana and inflict one ice. Uh, let's put that here. So the lifesteal actually should go on the torch because the torch does more damage. After six seconds, inflict ice. Yeah, whatever. Uh, now we got the actual chili goobert. Nice. And you go here for a faster attack speed. Heat. Uh, now I would like to get mana because now I'm actually generating mana. Right. And uh, we have this connected to the banana. I would like this to be here. Yeah, nice. We get a bunch of mana. And I definitely want both of these in the board so that they combine. And let's roll into inventory space. Or into mana for that matter. Where are the ice items? We're hoping for the ice items. Maybe I shouldn't have the box of riches while rolling. Fun or chili. I want ice items. Here we go. Fun, nice item. Cheap even. Extremely lucky here. Uh, this thing is a frozen buckler, 35% chance to block 5 damage and then uh, apply 1 ice to the opponent up to 10. So if the opponent's a dagger build or something, they're gonna instantly get 10 ice out of that. Stop. Almost made a mistake. After 6 seconds, flick nice or just get the heat. Let's go get the heat right away because this heat is, every 5 heat is one 2 ice anyway. So it's also 1, it's 2 fifths of, uh, two -fifths of a, an, an ice, I guess. Yeah, each heat is 2, two fifths. Ah, whatever, math is wrong. Uh, this is an empty build. They have a moon shield which should counter us. At least it should generate energy issues for us. We have two things that remove the buffs from us. And the more we freeze them, the better it's going to be. Now, they also remove freezing. Lens two debuffs and apply them to the opponent. Ah, that's why we're freezing. I'm dying from poison. Now that we do damage to them. Oh, one more hit, one more hit, go, one more hit. No, we missed. We missed. We missed. We missed. I was winning right. Where, where's the miss? Uh, crit for 14. Attack missed here. This burning torch. Attack missed. And then out of stamina on the blade. What was the miss chance, by the way, here? It was 70%. Come on, man. We lost the game on the 70%. It's okay. Boom. Combine those. So we're going to be cleansing a bit faster. Let's definitely combine these two. Uh, we're going to go with... I mean, backpack slot and the frozen buckler. Roll them. Banana for energy. And we found another chipped sapphire for uh, freezing the opponent. These definitely join. You go here, I guess. You go here. Uh, I would like this to be on the board. Let's uh, roll for inventory space. Yes, that's also one of the best. And we found it on sale. Insane. 
this is use two mana, which we now have the use of four mana. Every three seconds, use two mana to inflict three ice. That's it. That's it. Okay, so theoretically, I should sell some heat. Like this. This. This joins guaranteed. This is a nice item, right? Yes, yeah, so it should be somewhere here. Let's go this up here. It doesn't fit right now. I will need to buy the attack speed guaranteed. So buy the attack speed and time for a reorganized time to fit this thing in. Yeah, reorganized time. Okay, and here we are back. Let's actually flip these. Nice. So, theoretically, in the very beginning of the fight, we should have a lot of cleansing lined up, right? We have... We're cleansing 12 debuffs. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. We're cleansing right away a bunch. We'll also go with starting with more armor, but I don't think... Actually, I will do that because... Oh, no, 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 no. I will do this. This says every 5 mana gain, gain 2 shielding. Might as well. We're gaining mana anyway because we have the mana orb connected. And we're gonna definitely use this. Let's go. <clears throat> I need inventory space. Okay, I mean, we should beat this one. I don't see anything that crazy in this build. Uh, we got some ice on us. We removed it. Yep, and now they have 13, 14 ice. It's not really that fast. That crazy 16 ice. Yeah, they shouldn't be able to play anymore. At 20 ice, you have a 40% slower activation. These things never fire. 26. Got him. Got him, boys. And I'm about to get my max mana, by the way. 29 ice. So that means that this thing that normally has a 4 second activation is 448. 224. 19. Okay, yeah, it's not that crazy. As of this moment, they had a bit of heat contracting what we're doing. Okay, we got another. Is this the ice gem? Yep, that's the ice gem. Definitely buying this. Definitely buying this. Now we're gonna remove this to find more ice items. Uh, found even more attack speed. We're gonna buy that. And found another ice item. Very nice. So this is every three seconds, deal five damage and inflict four ice for three seconds. So that's a lot of ice. Uh, but for a small duration. It's called cold, by the way. I'm calling it ice, but it's called cold. Uh, that's nice. I would say sell two of the... Uh, first of all, sell the poison one. I don't care about it. And one flame. And just like that, we're in the ice building. And this thing has uses, uh, three uses, right? But it gets plus one use for each uh, item connected to it. And this here uh, says some percent chance to cast a scroll for free. So we're going to do this. And now a bunch of ice items are on this. So we're going to start with a bunch of ice. Uh, this is every five seconds cleanse a random debuff or opponent healing is reduced. I'm going to go with cleanse a random debuff. And uh, yeah, because opponent's healing is irrelevant to us. Is this the ice thing? Yep, this combines with that. Let's go with both of you are doing ice attacks. And I would like you to be here so that these combine. This is after six seconds steal life. That's a bit irrelevant. Uh, amplify healing. Is that the choice? Yeah, let's go with amplify healing. And I would say the piggy goes away from there and we put flames in there. At the end of the day, the piggy just needs to be uh, touching things that do start of fight triggers. You join. Uh, this also definitely joins. So I would say two flames go. Yep, starting with two heat goes. And you should be like that and like this. Okay, I think we're good to go. If anything, I would like other things to be inside the zone. Do I have a fire? I don't have a fire. You can go here. This is an activation, so it should go attack speed. You go here, you go here, and you go down here. Whatever. And I think we're ready to go. Yep, I think we're ready to go. Let's go. We don't begin with a bunch of fire, but we gain fire. After five seconds, we get like a bunch of fire at the same time. I am the future. Yep, you're freezing. The more we freeze, the better. Now I got my flames. Nice, they are at 40, 35 freezing. 45 freezing, they should not be able to play anymore. 50 freezing, they're gone. And now the build is a go. Now the build is actually a go. Look at this. Two second cooldown on this thing. This normal. This has two gloves of face buffing it and what the two second cooldown. This year, without the buffs, 3 to 0.2. Six second cooldown on the bloody dagger. Six seconds. Seven seconds on the other one. These flutes here, 7.5. 7, 7.5. 7. So they weren't even firing, man. Things are not firing when the opponent is ice. Now now the build is a go, right? Now now we actually do th stuff. I need more of these. I want more of these here. The Book of Ice. Use two mana to inflict three ice. That's the best one. Uh, chance to freeze here, over here. I'm still searching for whetstone, hopefully. Uh, yeah, chance to freeze. The other chance to freeze. Healing amplification. Put some flames in here. 
Uh, Ruby for healing. Mm, I wouldn't say so, no. I only care about the ice one. This is stamina region. This might as well join. I only care about ice. Roll them. And we found inventory space and max energy. That's nice. Uh, roll them. Or my ice items. Here we go. The best ice item in the game. So ice armor. Gain 45 shielding and inflict 4 ice. And then every 5 seconds, use 1 heat to inflict another 2 ice and gain 10 shielding. Now that every 5 seconds obviously is faster because we're heat build. Uh, throw these back in. Yes, and then you go here, and you go here. And we lock these down. Actually, I buy this even. And I increase the attack speed of this banana by even more. Bananas are extremely uh, important. And I can also flame in. Uh, you know what? This can now get shit. No. Because the burning sword has a good attack speed. The torch has better attack speed. And then I should definitely flip these. Yeah, and the Frozen Flame should be buffing the Burning Torch. That was a mistake this whole time. Uh, I could have the Buckler here. Not here, here. Yeah, so every time we block, we have a chance to gain mana. That's also nice. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Uh, although now I don't have this connected, so let's go one left. Yep, now the Dragonic Orb is on the other side, and this is full, still fully connected. And I think we're good to go. Uh, we're gonna buy the ice armor next. Let's go. I think we should win. Uh, I should reorganize a little bit to put flames in the zone there, but doesn't matter. Oh, we're both in ice build. Okay, they have double books, so they should out-ice us. But that's not true because I removed my debuffs, so now they're slower than us. And because they're slower than us, they're not allowed to play anymore. Yep, we have more heat and less ice. They have more, less heat and more ice. They're gone. Easy enough. And they also had the sun armor removing ice, but that was not enough. Same build as us. And do you know why we won? 407 burning torch damage, by the way. We had a better weapon, is one thing. They also had a burning torch and a burning sword. It's the exact same build. We won, because here in the early game, we should be losing, right? Yeah, look at this. We begin with a loss. And up to this point, we're losing. 19 ice, they have two, and they're beating us on flame. They're beating us on everything. And then... Still losing, still losing, still losing, and then somewhere around here, boom, come on, yep, here we fire all our uh, coals, right, from 23 ice, all the coals fire, and just like that, we get, we lose the ice, and we get the heat, and we overtake them, and because we got the heat very fast, they also get iced, and then they lose the game, that's going to end this, obviously, so the coals are very good, these coals here, burning coals, uh, also, resisting ice is even better. I mean, not even better. This is cleansing three debuffs after five seconds. So, in the early game, it seems risky, but then it turns around. Flame for sure. This definitely gets bought. I could also buy this to counter ice builds, by the way. If you have at least 20 debuffs, consume this and cleanse 10 debuffs. This helps also with poison builds. But whatever. Uh, found another ice socket. And also gain shielding when mana gained. Yeah, we're gonna take that for sure. Also take this. Pull him. And found another frost scroll. Perfect, 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 perfect. And also another lump of coal, which definitely joins. So I would say we throw away the frozen buckler for one turn, and you join. Healing of application, and I would say armor gain. And this coal should somewhere join. Uh, over the energy gain, I would say. It is better than energy gain. Uh, I would like the flames to be inside the zone so that I get more stats. Uh, or this zone should just be down here. Would be the simpler solution. The simpler and faster solution. Attack speed is important. So I would say scroll go... Nah, I would like the scroll and the other thing to get the attack speed. So that means like that. Nice. You go here and you go here. Temporary. And I would definitely prefer the frozen buckler over a couple of flames. So how will I do that though? You, ah, no, 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 no. You go here. Ah, reorganize time, by the way. Okay, I think we're pretty much ready here. Uh, I think this whetstone is completely useless, by the way. It should be another ice item. Anyway, we got another scroll. So now we have two scrolls that are uh, that have... Uh, this has five uses. And this has four uses. 
So we're gonna play a bunch of ice and then this also uh, has a chance to freeze the opponents and then when they hit us they have a chance to freeze and they also are gonna start with freezing and also slowly freeze even more. Definitely put a bunch of things in the zone. Um, also these are better than that. Uh, the reason why I have things inside of the zone is that I realize that I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this better. And right now I think we're gonna win anyway no matter what the opponent is. Let's get a reroll by the way. Uh, now nah, let's go. They should be guaranteed win as, as far as I'm concerned. Because we're gonna freeze them very fast. Yeah, they begin with 6, which isn't that much. And then they're already at 20. And now when the flames hit, boom, they're at 40. And now it's gone. It's over. At 55, it's it's over. They cannot play anymore. They are literally able to play. They're at 60, 67, 55, or oh, 56. They can attack us, but they're not gonna be able to attack us often is the thing. Like, how many weapons do they have? This thing. Every 5 seconds. So that means we're gonna get hit damaged. How, how long did the fight last? The fight lasted 15 seconds, right? And look at their damage. 234 was the bow. The other one didn't do anything. 271 on our end. We don't do that much damage, but the opponents are not allowed to play, right? This has a 5 second cooldown. They hit us once, and then they hit us another time the next year. This thing, 3 second cooldown. They hit us once, and a little bit later they attack us again. These things never fire ever. 8.7, like 8.4, 7.9. It's just, they, they cannot play. And we got another scroll on sale even. What's what's up with the sales? 10% chance to sail? Boom. Triple sale. I found the whetstone. I could now create the burn its burning blade. Which I think I should create because why not? So uh, let's buy the inventory space for sure. Let's buy the burning blade. Done. Burning blade. Uh, let's also buy the scroll. Piggy bank and join. Whatever. Uh, I'm not gonna buy a heart. <laughs> I found another goobert. Over the chili pepper that is, right? Chipped Amethyst. Do I care about leveling up Chipped Amethysts? I'm not sure if I care about the Chipped Amethysts. I'm thinking about the Goobert. Like, it's gonna take away the Chili Pepper. It's I'm gonna put... I'm gonna reorganize the whole thing if I get the Chili Goobert here. I'm gonna put, like, the weapons on the right side. And uh, have the Gooberts just give us heat very fast. Definitely faster than the Chili Peppers. That's for sure. Yeah, let's buy the Goobert. I need inventory space, though. Inventory space. Here we go. That's a good one. Uh, now I'm gonna just sell these things here to just get the inventory space so that I can fit the Goobert and we do the build. I should have kept the chip thing, but whatever. Uh, yep, reorganize time, full on, so that we fit everything because I can literally fit everything as it's already visible from this screen. Okay, uh, so right now we're a bit all over the place, but uh, we're gonna get the chili goobert and then we're gonna have room again, I think. So the ice scrolls should go here. I'm gonna reorganize the next fight. So after we beat the next fight, we're gonna reorganize completely and fit the board in a way where it is actually a lot better and it makes sense. So for now, let's go with this. We have the goobert generating heat. We have all this heat uh, ice items things and generating ice. And of course, I would like to also get the ice dragon. Oh, it's a triple shield build. Well, you're not gonna have enough. Do you have anti-ice? They had. They had a divine potion. That's it. So now we just hope to get them up to 100 ice. And then that it's, it's like super over. They have two heat. That's not enough. Now their ice is going up and down because I have these scrolls that say that ice lasts for 4 seconds. But now the scrolls are gone. So now they're gonna be permanent 75 ice, if not more. It's a lot more. How often is this? The 3.47 attack speed. Very nice. And this is a fast attacking weapon that has a 2.79 attack speed. The food? Forget the food. 8 second? 9 second? 8 second? Forget the food. Food does not exist. Ooh, found a crazy lifesteal. A uh, crazy perfect ruby. By the way, I could buy this and combine it with one of the scrolls. I think I should do that. I should buy the hungry blade to combine it with one of the spell scrolls to create the frozen, build, the frozen um, sword. And also burning torch should go. And I should play Burning Blade and Ice Blade. Yeah, let's do that. The Frost Blade build. Buy this. Uh, throw this out for a moment. Nice fun in our book. Books are the best, by the way. So I'm gonna sell Flame. Because this is not gonna fit. Actually, not the Flame. I'm gonna sell the Torch. Now this fits. And this also fits. I have two spell scrolls here. Okay, now I need to do a full-on big reorganize time. First of all, let's see if I can fit everything. Uh, let's see, this fits. And then we can just put these here. Ice and uh, also ice. Okay, so obviously everything fits. This is useless. 
if I can find maybe inventory space. I uh, found one. Is that enough? Yeah, that's enough because one, two, three, four spots are missing. Chance to remove opponent's buffs. I don't really care about this. Uh, the time has come for reorganized time and that's gonna join next fight. And then, uh, yeah, let me full on reorganize this whole thing. Yeah, so this uh, this uh, spell scroll fire uh, ice is gonna combine with the hungry blade. We have two books of ice uh, having a chance to fire the scrolls for frost, and also they're using mana to gen generate um, inflict ice to the opponents. We have mana generation here and also here, a fifty percent chance to inflict damage directly and freeze them. Same goes with this, thirty percent chance to inflict ice um, and freeze them. Let's switch these, by the way. So it frees it, it gives us mana and whatnot. We also gain a little bit of uh, shielding every two mana. We Every five mana we gain, we get two shielding. Not that crazy, but still it helps. Uh, I would prefer this down. I would prefer all of these giving us heat. And then we have both Guberts connected to a lot of things. This Gubert is connected to the blades, of course. Plus, uh, when we block attacks. And also plus, when this thing fires to freeze opponents and give us shielding. And this Gubert is connected to the Draconic Orb and the banana. We should destroy the opponents with this. Let's see how this goes. We might have energy issues. I think we need two more bananas. Okay, so they begin with 30 ice, and now they got up to 50. Now they're at 66. They should be unable to play from here on out. They're getting critted like crazy. I have 40 poison, which is pretty bad for us, but they have 90 ice, so they're not playing, and I'm just hoping to not die from poison. 86 and 91 ice are gone. They're gone. They're gone. 96, uh, 94 ice, by the way, means that this Reaper attacks every 4 seconds. Every 3.75. The snake doesn't even do anything. Flying a Garrick every 14 seconds. Banana every 14 seconds. Was I playing alone at the end? Yeah, at the end I was playing alone. Look at this. At 60 ice. Uh, they're still playing. Okay, they, they, they shield of Valor. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Poison. Nothing, 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 nothing. Uh, they, they did this. The snake attacked us. Nothing, nothing. Death Scythe attack. Poison Goobert. Yeah, that doesn't really count. Nothing. Generate 3 region. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Poison damage. Nothing, 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 nothing. Here they attack us once. Okay, nothing, 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 nothing. They attack us again. Okay. Snake. Yeah. Wait a minute. Does the snake trigger? When does the snake trigger? Chance for each luck to protect points from opponents. Oh, every 5 seconds inflict 2 poison. <laughs> Okay, easy enough, easy enough. I like this, this is busted. What's my main weapon, though, that does the damage? The Burning Blade. The Hurling Blade did nothing. Okay. Now we're gonna get the Ice Blade, though. Boom. Give me this. Go here. Vampirism. Uh, actually, you go here. You go here. And uh, this thing now says, on hit, 70% chance to inflict ice, and these plus one damage per Vampirism and ice on the opponent. Half a damage for his ice. So if the opponent has 80 ice, that's 40 damage from the ice. And then if the opponent reaches 30 ice, which is very easy to do, we gain 5 Vampirism. So that's also very nice. Um, opponent's healing reduced and whatnot, I don't really care about this. And let's actually once again remove this from this. So we find more ice items. We found our coal we're gonna get. For sure. Uh, put it down, doesn't matter. Actually, putting on defense is better. Roll them. Uh, found banana for energy issues. Yeah, let's get banana for energy issues, honestly. Go here. Go here. Uh, no, I'm gonna put the banana at the top. Right here. And the flames can do whatever. Uh, roll them for ice. Nice! Nice. This is the best one. Yeah, this is the one that deflects the most ice between all the choices. So this is the play, I would say. So we sell this, and we have exactly exact... No, we have more than enough room for this. I'm even thinking about selling this. So this sells for three, and two, that's five. I'm at nine coins, I need to sell two more. I guess two flames and we're done. Yeah, I'm gonna buy this right now. Let's go. I, fi I didn't find a dragon, by the way. But it's okay. Uh, you can go here, and you can go here. As simple as that. This is random anyway. Might as well put here to become burning coal. It doesn't matter that we start with less max life. Who cares, really? Although I could definitely... 
Can I make this better? No, nothing really changes. Same thing. Let's go. Let's go. Should be an easy win. Should be a very easy win. It's a flame build against an ice build. Let's see who wins. Flame opponent and a bunch of buffs. Ice. Okay, theoretically we should win. They're at 60 ice. They're dead. <laughs> oh, we destroyed them. Not only did we win, they were not even able to play. 281, 227. Frost and fire build here. Froze them to death. Whoop, we found a unique item that I'm not even gonna buy. Unbelievable. I don't care about this. Uh, roll them. What do I even care about finding? I don't even know what I'm trying to find now. The whetstone. Ah, too late. I got the burning blade and I also got a wooden sword. Let's maybe create another one. <laughs> oh, now, now I do want to find gemstones. Well, I just made the mistake of selling the thing that gives us gemstones. Banana for energy issues. That's a yes on my book. You go here. You go here. Roll them. Uh, I mean, do we have room to... Yeah, we do have room for one of those. So you go here. Yeah, one flame goes. Uh, one flame every five seconds joins. Nice, I found one last frostbite. Okay, I'm gonna, let's say, remove the burning blade now. And we're gonna buy the frostbite. And that's gonna be that. So you're gone, burning blade. You join frostbite. Nice. And that should be the last item. So the frostbite says... 70% chance to inflict one ice and also more damage. And that's going to give us 10 vampirism now between these two. And I still generate um, uh, heat through the chili goober. So we're not afraid of this thing using all our heat too fast. That's not really a thing. Maybe one more ice item here at the end. Nice, we found that one last ice item. Which I will buy for sure. So I would say we sell... We just sell two heat. It's as simple as that. I don't really need to think about it this much. Let's flip these. So you go. I, I, even only one sh heat. Yeah, but, well, we still do not have room for that one last heat that's left. We don't have any inventory space. Yeah, the, these do not fit anywhere. This, uh, yeah, this is gonna freeze the opponents. We have four bananas, so energy issues should not be a thing. For real. Let's go and win this last fight and see how it's gonna go. Let's slow this thing down. Oh, this should be a very, very easy fight. They have an anti-poison, but they have make the mistake that it's low. Yeah, they just triggered and they're still at 22, 37. I'm already doing 86 crits here. One more crit incoming, 77. And one more hit and you're gone. 112. 112. Yep, the Frostbite did 350 6 damage and our one did 133. The opponent with 62 cold. Every 5 seconds. Every 1.68. Yeah, I mean, every 1.68 is good. I have to say. Every 2.33. Yeah, they had decent. I mean, look at this. They had two vampire gloves giving them 35% attack speed. And this only had 1.65. Right? So, imagine. And also, it's Jinxed Killer hitting this. Jinxed Killer was firing every 6.66. What number is that, man? 10 vampires on them. 10 vampires on us. Easy. Very easy. How much damage was it doing? 45 to 48. And this was also doing 45 to 48, as these do the same amount of damage. Insane. Insane. Can I see? Cold? That's how many cold we applied. Yeah, the spell scrolls do a lot of cold. Although it lasts for 3 seconds, still, it is very hampering. The opponents are not even allowed to play. Damage dealt. Nice. My heat was on the lower numbers because I was eating it away with the ice armors. But still destroy them yeah here we we are about to run out of heat and then boom charcoal fires we're up to 18 and they're gone and they're gone easy 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 very powerful build very powerful and busted build here i think this might be the best build on the on the pyromancer the ice mancer i'm pretty sure is what i would say anyway hope you guys enjoyed as always thanks for watching and see you guys around